a fantastic day to be out causing chaos. Welcome back to the mining construction economy map for Farming Simulator 17. I did actually start this series last year and I entitled it the Unrealistically Crazy Series which is actually a very fitting name for it. I'm going to change it a bit. We're going to do some crazy stuff. We're also going to do some quite interesting stuff, different stuff, which is basically what the mining construction economy map is all about. You can do so many different diverse things, it's incredible. It was recently updated, well a few months ago, um, and a few things have been really improved a lot, such as the wine house. This is obviously where you can make wine, believe it or not, and this is what we're going to do today, possibly in the next episode as well. So it's not going to be crazy this sort of thing, <laughs> this is uh, the intended use, this is what we're supposed to be doing. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some grape harvesting and obviously yeah, producing the grape, or the, producing grape juice and wine. So it's going to be something a bit different today. The amount of things you can actually do on this map is just absolutely unbelievable. It's such a diverse map, it's just incredible. So the, the possibilities really are endless, we can do anything at all. So please do feel free to suggest anything for the upcoming upcoming episodes in the series. Um, we're going to do the grapes today, but after that we do need to find another job to do. So what we have here is the uh, the Terra variant by Homer, as you can see. So we've got a massive drill on the back. Actually, I don't know how it's been getting on. I think it's it should be over here. Yeah, it's been over here, so if we continue we can get the grapes in the ground. Um, this is just the, the fastest approach to do it, basically. Doing it with a massive drill. Um, yeah, the worker was doing it before. I'm not quite sure where it got to. I can check the map, though, afterwards, because the good thing as well about this, uh, this map is we can actually see the different fruit types on here. You can see I've actually missed a bit. So I'll get that finished off in a minute or two. Um, but the first job is to at least get the grapes growing and then we can move on and we can harvest them and take the trailers over to the production plant. The other thing we'll have to do is get some water because it, it isn't just the grapes which it requires, it does need water as well. And then it's all going to work really well hopefully. That is the plan. But yep, let's just get all these grapes planted. If you're interested in seeing exactly what they look like when they're growing, I'll show you in a minute. It is quite impressive. They go through several stages. A bit of grass does grow at the base as well, which is understandable because it is uncultivated. If I put that on a worker, we can jump out and we can see. So there you go. This vine here is actually ready to harvest, but they do go more purple later on. When it's sort of halfway through, I'll see if there is one. Yeah, here we go. They're more of this yellowy color when they're not quite ripe. So it is, it's a very good mod, very interesting. I've done it before, but the problem was it wasn't really set up on the map properly, so we couldn't really do much with the grapes. So as you can see, that is all working as it should be. It's actually now removing the unplanted piece, and it is now planted, which is very good. Um, I'll check it at the end to make sure everything's actually done, but it's not going to take too long at all. It's very, very fast with this drill. Um, yeah, and as I said, it's, it's our crazy series, so we can basically do anything we want to. I did initially have the sort of crazy series incorporated into the Green River series but I'm going to prefer to keep it separate and this map is really perfect for that to do all these different things because uh, then we can keep the other two series going and still do unlimited money, unlimited machinery and all that kind of stuff and basically just have great fun because uh, there's nothing wrong with doing it in my other series it's just it does take over a bit and it can get a bit ridiculous at times. So now what we're going to do is buy the harvester, and yes, that is a, a ridiculous machine. Very interesting to use, very fun as well. I'm going to buy one of these trailers, just for the sake of buying it basically, because uh, I think it will come in handy in the future. So, I have no preference here, we'll just buy that. And the harvester is most likely going to be in the harvester section. Let's find out. There it is, the new Holland, so we'll buy that. There we go. And if we teleport over to the store, we can sit here. I think actually, what we could do is stick it on the trailer. We'll put a faster vehicle 
on the front of the trailer. I suppose we could have got a low loader, that would have worked. Um, but instead, we will use just this trailer here. And we'll probably, what should we use? Just wondering. Uh, would Meadow Farm modding actually have some incredible mods? So I might take a look at theirs and then get back to you. Okay, so what I've done is I've downloaded this incredible looking Volvo heavy haul truck and I think it's going to be perfect for what we're going to do today, which is going to be moving the harvester about. So before we go, we have to do a few different things. I've already bought the Fugal low loader. This one here we'll use for lighter things and we'll tow it with the tractor. So the thing is, and this is where it's very easy to go wrong, with the harvester just here, you have to make sure that you've bought the cutter bar. Now, I'm actually going to have to look myself and see exactly where it is located, but I can remember from before when I did this, if you don't have the cutter bar installed, you're not going to be harvesting any grapes at all. So it's very important that you have it. It's possibly in headers actually. Uh, yes it is. So this thing here, it's an unusual looking thing, but it is required. You can't do it without it. So where is it? Let's just go and try and find it. There it is. Right. The trailer is a bit close to it. In fact, it's very close to it. So it's likely going to have to be moved. It's a good job we've got a few yard shunters. At least, we will have a few yard shunters. This one here looks like a brilliant machine for this job. Uh, obviously very small, but it's a totally empty trailer. So it should be able to move it. I do like the, I think they're the industrial ones, the industrial Massey Ferguson's. Um, I think they look very unique. Good grief. Okay, clearly it is still very heavy. But the mighty Massey can still move it out of the way. Which is all I want to do with it anyway. So, yes, <laughs> we'll just come put it over here. That's good. We'll put it over two parking spaces. And we'll put the Massey Ferguson in a third. There we go. Uh, we'll see how popular we can be. Right. Uh, so <laughs> we want to put the cutter bar onto the grape harvester. And then we'll put the whole thing on the low loader. So from what I can remember, the uh, harvester here is quite good. It does the job. I know that the camera is inverted on the inside. Okay, I could have gone much straighter at that, but it should be okay, hopefully. Um, <laughs> oh, almost. There we go. So it fits right inside. You don't even see it, really. But it's vital. Right, onto the trailer. Probably easier from third-person view. It has very small front tyres, front wheels. And as you can see, it's very close, but it's doable. So we'll put it there. We'll have to get a trailer later, a tipping trailer and a tractor, but we'll do this for the time being. We're here. The good news is the grapes are ready to harvest. And I don't know, it might come as a bit of a shock to you, but the reason why they are ready is purely because I have skipped five days. They take a very long time to actually become ripe, which is understandable. So we, we can just get straight into it. We can begin getting those grapes harvested, taken to the production plant and processed. It's going to take a bit longer than that though, because what we also need to do is get some water. So we're very carefully Reverse it off the back, hopefully it doesn't fall off. There we go. It's not too bad. And we should be able to just get straight into this. I think we're going to span this over two episodes because what I would like to do is harvest the entire lot. Uh, in the past I've only done half the field and well, it doesn't really pay off. Because we've made the effort to plant it all and it's not really made the effort to harvest it all. So it should work. Yes, there we go few things give it away. One, the grapes are disappearing. And two, you can see it filling up anyway. Up here. And actually the gauge as well, at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. You can see that filling up as well.
We have no trailers at all, so yeah, we, we don't want to go too fast. From the in-cab view, I guess you can just about judge where it's going through, but it's a bit harder. I think I'll stick with the third-person view. But it's certainly something different to do. We have done this section of the job before, as mentioned, but we've never taken anything any further. I did load up into a trailer, but then I, I couldn't figure out what to do. And I don't think, it might have been, but I don't think the winehouse was actually implemented at all. So that would have been the reason why I was so stuck. It could have been there. Maybe I was just overlooking it because it wasn't marked on the map. But it certainly wasn't as simple as it is now. It's really good now. Anyway, 30% full. Can we put on a worker? We can. It might get confused. We'll see how it goes. Let's sort out the trailer situation. Now the trailers can't be very big because the machine backloads, it tips up. So really, it has to be just be like uh, these ones here. We could have, if they join together, which I think they do because I did the massive snake of trailers, we could have a few of these, providing it's compatible. It is, good. So we could have three and a fairly big tractor. Which tractor should we go for? Massey Ferguson's always good, but I use them quite a bit. It's such a tough decision. I was hoping to use a mod. Um, hmm. <laughs> always very tough. I don't know. The selection is too great. I've used that recently. Uh, I'll get back to you. Although, that fence is brilliant. Yes, we use the fence. There we go. We can afford it. Oh, the work has stopped. Joy. I'll probably have to do it myself. I would have thought we will have to. But this setup should work very well. Interesting, one of them is covered over. It must be something to do with the seed here. Yeah, it must be. They've removed the covers so we can fill them up with the seed. Okay, so this is definitely the easiest way of doing it instead of trying to reverse two. You just put two together and then grab the third and put it onto the second one. This was actually suggested to me when I did the snake. <laughs> if you don't know what I mean, uh, I have got a video. It did pretty well, I think, for views. You should be able to find it fairly easily. It's essentially multiplayer, and we try and join like a hundred together, and we succeeded. But when we tried to take it for a tour of the map, it sort of failed. Well, it didn't sort of fail, it totally failed. Because as soon as we tried to turn a bend, it was just impossible. Crashing into every building. We took it down there actually, straight ahead. And yes, it, the outcome was, um, let's just say, not the best. But that is the sort of thing I'm looking to bring back. We'll probably do it in multiplayer, actually, uh, where we do all these weird ideas, see what you can really do in Farming Simulator, pushing the game to its limits. In fact, um, yeah, later today, as providing you're watching this on the day of the video's release, we're going to be doing something similar in Green River. We're going to attempt to build something, at the moment I don't know what, out of straw, uh, bales, logs, that kind of thing. It's going to be interesting and probably a failure, but hopefully a good laugh. We'll soon find out. Anyway, where's my harvester? Here it is. Lazy. Stop me at the end of each vine. I'll uh, probably skip one to make it easier to turn. Right, there we go. This is probably the vine which didn't grow at the end. No, it didn't. Typical. It actually begins here. But yeah, we're 50% roughly. Over 50%. We'll unload when we get to the top. And a full load of the harvester, I'm guessing, is about half a trailer. I would have thought. So I'm looking at about six harvester loads for the, for the full lot there, the three trailers, hopefully. 
If it's possible, I might be able to do this in multiplayer anyway, where we do the grapes and stuff. I'm actually looking to buy a new laptop. It's not quite as easy as just buying a laptop because I'm trying to save up for a really high quality one. Um, the reason for this is because when I'm recording these videos, I then edit them and then the computer is rendering. I can't record another video while I'm rendering and I thought instead of buying a whole new gaming setup desktop with a monitor and everything, I thought maybe having a laptop, a gaming laptop, would be better. I'm trying to get more videos out to you, more diverse videos. At the moment I'm struggling, um, although it might not seem it on the surface, but yes, I'm struggling to actually get enough videos out to you. I have so many crazy ideas, and the amount of ideas I actually put into a video are fairly limited. And yeah, I want to really turn that around very soon, so stay tuned. The other thing, actually, is I might be live streaming fairly soon. I'm actually upgrading my internet, and you might think, what, you've had the opportunity all this time to upgrade your internet and you didn't bother, or you're too tight to do it. The fact of the matter is, no, I still can't do it. Um, you know the company name, but yeah, they are useless in my area, and they will not update the internet. There'll be no fibre being put in. I can't see any plans for it at all in the future, ever. So, yes, that company is certainly probably never going to help this channel at all. But 4G internet is something I'm looking at. And hopefully, very soon, I will have it and I'll be able to do some live streaming. So if it all goes to plan, that's what will happen. Anyway, you're probably looking at this and thinking, what are you doing? <laughs> well, so am I. It does unload. Um, I've had this issue before. It may be better off in the other trailers. The Which one is it? Uh, this one here. Yeah, the metal tech. I've definitely put it in the metal tech before. The farm tech, I'm not entirely sure. If it means changing them, that's fine. We'll just have to do it. The only joyful problem with this is I need to somehow hitch onto the other trailer. So, again, the approach angle is going to be key. I can reverse these things, just about, but just not very well. Yeah, <laughs> this is going to go well. Great. Yes, did it. So, um,. I don't think I could ever attach a hundred of these together with them being a dolly. Um, but yeah, the other ones, the metal tech, they seem to be fairly simple. I think these might be the only ones we can unload into. The others do say that we can do, but I've never got it to work. So yeah, with a bit of luck, this will work. Just pop them here and we'll try again. Yeah, we'll hope for the best. I think it's going to work fine. Just being positive. <laughs> Let's just see. It should do. It should work. There it goes. There is like a millimetre of allowance, and that is exactly where you have to be to get it to actually unload. So, not the easiest of unloaders, but it is possible. Right, back to this fine here. And we'll probably time lapse it, and in a second we're going to be going over to the wine house to begin the process. Okay, well it did a really good job, very impressed by that. What we're going to do now is go to the wine house and we're going to dump all of this off. 11,363 litres, that sounds pretty good for just five vines. We have loads more to go. I don't know how much it's going to be worth actually 
the grape juice and all of that. Um, when we come to sell it, that's very bumpy. And that is how that finished off. Very professional worker. You can actually just plant the grapes in the middle of a field if you want to and just have a massive field full of them. However, it does look much better on a grape vine, as that's how it should be. Um, but it's up to you. Totally up to you how you want to do it. Right, so yeah, number one, that's where we're going to. Near field number two. Just quickly go up there. And I think we'll probably use the universal tankers for the water. We do need quite a bit of water. So that would be the most efficient way of actually getting it to the wine house. And yeah, we'll go from there really. Drop all this off, get the water. And then we'll see it all kick into action. Should be quite impressive. It's actually very similar to how we made the biodiesel. The same sort of idea. Right, I think this is our turning. I think we go up here. And I'm actually unsure to which side we go into because there's two sides here. It may be either side. It probably doesn't even matter. But I'll show you what I mean in a minute. A and B. Yes. Which is which? I suppose if it doesn't accept it, then that's the reason why. And you can see there's a bit of a... Yeah, it's like an incline. It's not level. To allow the grapes to roll into the conveyor belt. I would say... That's okay. Uh, I'll change the side, though, if we can do. Yes, it's currently set to back. I want to put it to... It's our right, isn't it? There we go. Look! You can see them on the conveyor belt. And you can see it's registered 8,000 grapes. Or 8,000 litres of grapes. Yeah, I doubt they've counted every single individual one. And again, that's going up. So we have the 11,363. Now all we need is the water. And it should then start to produce it all. Ooh, a grape cleaner. Grape cleaners. I'm wondering the best way of actually moving. Ooh, it's a hologram. I would say the truck which we used before, it worked really well. This one here. So we could drop it off, the trailer, and then we'll go and buy the universal tanker and get loads of water. We should be able to get the water from the river. So that's why I'll try. Very nice truck. I don't think the interior works quite right. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a bit inverted. But exterior. Exterior is perfect. Universal technology. This one here would appear to be the most obvious one for us. Uh, should we have a colour match? It probably isn't an exact colour match, but we'll try it. To be honest, I don't know what colour this is. Mm, it's like a cream. I might have matched it perfectly, actually. Soon find out when we put them together. It's pretty accurate, actually. It's fairly accurate. Mind the businesswoman. I think she didn't look. Anyway, the best place to get water from as far as I can remember, is from down here. There probably are other designated water fill points on this map, but if we can get it from the river, we might as well do. So let's just go over here and fill it up. It's going to be pretty heavy. It's going to be a full load. Hopefully the holiday resort people don't mind us driving onto their beach. But we'll soon find out. If they all come out angry, we'll have to move on. Hello, holiday resort people. Ah, oh, good, they're not here. They must be inside, eating lunch. Or having a party. Or oh, we could take the water out of their swimming pool. That would be funny, although that would be very chlorine -y grapes. Is that the word, chlorine -y? Hmm. Let's just say the grapes would taste like chlorine. But on the plus side, we would have annoyed the locals. <laughs> what an evil streak that would be. Right, hopefully I can uh, fill it up here. 
Hopefully. Maybe we're not deep enough. Oh, maybe we're going too deep. Or maybe we have to fill it up from a designated place. Which is the most likely. I just found a feature, which is quite nice, and it is to move everything backwards or forwards depending on the size of the trailer. Uh, so if it's an oversized load, you can actually um, move things like this, forward or back, which is a nice idea. Well, the good thing is, I do know there is a water fill point over at the mine, over at the quarry. Um, it's actually the same one which we use for the gold mining. It worked very well. So that's where we'll go to. So I can guarantee there is a working one there. Here it is. It's the one in the muddy puddle. It's probably muddy because so many vehicles have been to here to fill up. There we go. Nothing like refilling in a load of slop in what looks to be the muddiest puddle on the map. Oh, look at the strobes go. Absolutely loving the truck. Is it full? No, it's not. It's been a while. Clearly a massive capacity. I've tried to plan my escape route. I think we can probably go down here and rejoin this road if we can do, unless it's a bridge, and then cut down here instead of going all the way around. Yeah, so I would say that was the most appropriate way to go. Anyway, that is virtually full. 30,000 litres. I'm actually stuck in the hole. Stuck in the mud. Right. That will do nicely. Good job we have plenty of traction. Ugh. Oh, look what it's done to my tanker. Now it's filthy. That is so typical. Well, as you can see, we're on the road back to fill number one, or area number one. So that's worked out incredibly well. In fact, it couldn't have gone better. Speed! We have speed lorry here. It handles well too. It's really changed since the base game. It's amazing how this map has actually developed. The author has done a really good job. Right, so it's just up here. I mustn't miss the turning. It's the good thing about having the truck, it's really fast. Uh, yeah, we probably should take the next one. Next dirt track on the left. Here we go. I know it's this one because I can see our tyre marks. And really, all we have to do now is drop the water off, and then production will start. And we're just going to have to finish off the grape harvest at some point. Hopefully very soon. I wonder if it's wise to reverse in. I would say so, if I can reverse. Okay, it seems more difficult than uh, a European truck to reverse. I'm not too sure why. Possibly the uh, extra steering. Four wheels of steering. Hmm. I'm terrible today. Absolutely useless. But there is the <laughs> unload point, if we can get to it. Might take a while. Okay, that looks to be working. Yep, that's the place to go to. We're well, moving very fast. There we go, so that's at least going to be quite a chunk of the water required here. 30,000 out of 50,000, but we don't even have that many grapes, so it's going to be more than what we actually need. You can see it's filling up there. If we walk up this, well, actually up this one here, we can see that they're going to be washed up here. Bounce over the top, if I can do. Come on. There we go. And they get cleaned up here. And then obviously refined into whatever they need to be. So that, I think, has turned out to be quite a success. We'll continue in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until the next one, see you again very soon. Bye for now.